Hi there. Right. Um, what we're going to look at today is using Pythagoras, where we have two triangles connected, um, where they're both right angle triangles. So the way we do this is by using Pythagoras twice. So here's an example to show you how to do it. So I've got one right angle triangle here, but connected to that, I've got another badly drawn right angle triangle. Okay, so they're going to give me some lengths. I've got this length here, which is three centimeters. I've got this length here, which is five centimeters. I've got this length here, which is eight centimeters. And the length that I want to find is this cent this length, 8x centimetres. So we need to think about this sensibly. To, to use Pythagoras, we need to know two of the lengths of the right angle triangle. And I've got two here. The only one where I've been given two of the lengths is the smaller one on the top, and that's three and five. Remember, there's a special name for the longest side that's opposite the right angle that the right angle points at, and that's called the hypotenuse. And the rule we use for Pythagoras is the longest side, we call it C, is equal uh, squared, is equal to the two smaller sides squared. So best thing to do, as before, is to label your side so you know what you're looking at. Remember, the longest side is C, the longest side is opposite the right angle, so C is where the five centimeters is a and b well they're the other two sides so a and b because if i can find out what b is then i have two lengths of the other triangle and that's what we need to do we need to try and use pythagoras to find one length but then that means because it's shared it's now given us two lengths for the other triangle and we can use pythagoras again to find the x value so it's all a bit of substitution and I'm happy for you to use your calculator. So if you want to, you could pause it now and try and do it yourself and see whether you've made the same, got to the same answer as me. OK, even just for the first half of the question, which is working out what B is. OK, so if you want to give it a go now, uh, pause the video and uh, see if you can work out B and see whether we get to the same answer. Right. So I need to work out B. So I'm going to substitute in my C value, which is 5, 5 squared. I'm going to substitute in my A value, which is 3. So that's 3 squared. But I don't know B, but I'm going to work that out. Um, let's square everything. Why not? So we've got 25 equals 9 plus B squared. Now, what I need to do is rearrange this. I need to get b squared on its own and then square root the answer. So to get rid of this 9, this is a plus 9, I need to minus 9 from both sides. And if I take 9 away from 25, I get 16. OK, to find out what b is, I don't need b squared, I need b. I need to square root the answer. So I'm going to square root both sides. The square root of 16 is a nice square number, so we get 4. So I've worked out that this length is equal to 4. 4 centimetres. Now I've got this triangle. I've been given two lengths, which means I can work out the other length. Because it's a right angle triangle, I can use Pythagoras. So let's just write out the formula again. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Um, let's label the sides. Which is the longest side? Well, that's the one opposite the right angle. So that's C. Um, doesn't matter which way around we call these. Let's call A4 and B8. So let's substitute in the values we've got. So x, if you wanted to pause it now and see whether you can get to the same answer, that might be a good thing. Um, and then you can check to see, um, right, something's 
there we go sorry um and then you can check to see whether you get the same answer so my c value is now x so that's what i'm looking for so x squared my a value is 4 so that's 4 squared and my b value is 8 so that's 8 squared so i'll square all the numbers x squared equals 16 plus 64 add the two together x squared equals 80 that's just below a square number 9 times 9 is 81 so 80 is not a square number so I'm going to use my calculator for this um, let's switch it on I don't have great lighting so we'll have to make do square root of 80 equals press the SD button and then it gives us our decimal 8.94427 that's where I'll stop so we square root in both our, both sides we get 8 equals 8.94427 and to make this look nicer I'm just going to round it to one decimal place 8.9 centimeters to one decimal place so the technique here is do Pythagoras twice when you get given two right angle uh, triangles that are joined you need to start with the triangle where you have two of the sides then you can find that missing side usually that missing side is shared with the other triangle okay so once you've found that side, then you've got your two sides that you need to use in Pythagoras to find the missing side length. OK, right. Best thing for you to do, have a go at some questions. There's a worksheet for you to do. So um, I'll see you soon.